Hello everyone, it's Linda Hayes. Today I'm coming to you from Edmonton where I've been spending the summer and I usually am in Belize as many of you would know from my videos. And I'm a real estate investor so because I have Airbnbs and I travel a lot, I wanted to look into home exchange. So today I want to talk about whether home exchange is a good idea. So when I decided I wanted to do home exchange, I tried out two different companies because a lot of companies have trials available. And then I ended up signing up for home exchange in September 2021. And I will show links to the company that I'm using as well as a demo. So far, I have done 13 exchanges and I have four more upcoming. So what I want to do is show some examples of places you can go and how you book. And I also want to talk about some pros and cons of doing home exchange. I'm going to show a quick video from Home Exchange, but I want to talk a bit about it first. So you don't have to pay for your membership until you find an exchange. So that's one of the benefits of the company I use. And something new they've added is that you can offer up just a room in your home instead of only your whole home. So if you're having a vacant bedroom, you could say someone could come stay there while you're there. Or obviously, if you're going away on a vacation, that's when you can offer up the whole home. Now, there are two different types of exchange. There's a reciprocal exchange where we swap each other's homes for the same period of time, or there's a points-based system. Now, when you first sign up, you do get some initial points, which is good because then you can book an exchange, and you also get points when you use a referral link. So some examples of reasons I've done exchanges to stay places, I've done just one-night exchanges a few times. So in Vancouver, Hotels are expensive. I needed a night after a cruise before my I was flying out, so I got a home exchange that way, which was fantastic. Same thing in Houston. I booked a home exchange for one night, and actually in that case, I needed the, hotel, the room for one night, but I let the person that had that house stay in my condo in Belize for the entire weekend because I was coming back to Belize for a conference where I was staying in a hotel. So that was where we did one night reciprocal and then points for the rest of the night that she was in my place. So it is a pretty cool system. And now I'm going to just show a little video. So now let's look at a short video about Home Exchange from their website. So now I want to talk about some tips if you are creating a profile for your home and home exchange. So the first thing is to be clear about your availability. So if you have a minimum uh, stay of one week, make sure you put that in the listing. And then if you can, update your calendar for available periods. So there is sometimes that I've messaged over 10 people and it, it basically gave me the option of picking the dates I wanted to stay and the number of guests. But all of them responded that they already had a booking since many people use their properties as a vacation rental. So if you have that case where you do have other guests, what I do is I actually put a link into my website so people can check my updated availability. Because obviously I'm not going to go in every time I get a guest into Home Exchange because there is no connection that you could do automatically through Home Exchange. But what I do is I put my general available period if I know that winter is not so busy in my homes in Edmonton, I might pick one where I have it totally open for home exchange. And in other cases, I might decide that I just have a couple week period where I'm away from my primary residence. And that's when I, I will update the availability for that specific place. And you can also specify whether you want 
only to take guest points or if you're open to reciprocal exchange. So I would recommend updating that as well because what ends up happening is if you aren't clear, you'll get a ton of messages and it can be quite frustrating for people. One other thing, one con of home exchange is that people are more apt to cancel, I would think, than say if it's an Airbnb listing where they're actually making money. So I've had this happen a couple of times actually. So the first time it happened, I had the, I had a property for my stay in Vancouver for the one night and about a week before the person said, sorry, can't stay after all. Now, luckily, Home Exchange has guarantees. So I was able to message them and said, look, this person canceled. I really need this one night. And they were able to find me an alternative Home Exchange. So I didn't have to go through all the work of messaging a ton of people again to see if something was available. And alternatively, if they can't it, alternatively, if they couldn't have found me an exchange, they would have covered my hotel for the night. So that's one of the real big benefits to it. So um, in another case, I had a Puerto Vallarta condo booked where the person said, sorry, I don't want to have my house available. I have too many points down. So obviously it shows how popular uh, some locations are. So in this case, though, because we're going right away here in September, it's not busy season. It was very easy to get another home exchange, even though it was only a few weeks out. So we had two different properties that were still available from when I originally searched and I was able to book an alternative home. So that was really, really nice. So now let's do a little demo of what the home exchange website looks like. So you can see here, I've put in Las Vegas if I wanted to go there. You can see I could just pick my own country of Belize because that's where my um, homes were set up, first of all. So if I don't pick the dates right off the bat, because you don't have to, you can just see how many houses are in this map area in Las Vegas. You can see there's 41 homes available for this search in Las Vegas without putting any dates. So I usually start with this and then if I find properties I like right at the top, um, I will go in and pick a few dates that I like, see if they're still there. Or you could easily just go into a specific property and take a look. So if I go into this house here, 305 guest points a night, which is a very large house, I can actually see what's in here. So you can see this house has a lot of pictures and it's the people's primary residence. So that means there's probably going to be less availability than if it was a vacation property. And it sleeps 14, three bedrooms, three baths. And if you look at the, if you keep scrolling down, you'll actually see the calendar. So you can see here, they only have availability specified for this period. So in this case, if I wanted specifically to go December, January, I'd probably try to find a different house to reach out to because I can see they probably have updated their calendar with a very specific time period. So if I'm open to going at this time frame, I would definitely put in a request for this particular home. Now, when you're doing a search as well, you can search for certain aspects that you want in your property or specific dates. So let's say I wanted to go to Belize for a week and I wanted to have two specific guests. So I'm gonna apply that and I'm gonna see what comes up in Belize. So you can see Belize, the map, because I was very general, I didn't pick a specific part. You can see San Pedro here, which is where I live, and you can see one of my tiny homes right here. And then you can see a couple other places. So here is a, uh, C Belize Sea View Bay Studio, 150 points. And because I put specific dates in there, it says here are the available homes, six of them that come up. And then it does say you can also contact other homes. So these are ones that are not available. So you can try to do that as well. So many different options. And then I just wanted to show a couple other things. So you could see the guest points, how they work. So in terms of my guest points, it talks about how you earn them. So becoming a verified member, you get 100. When you complete your profile, you get some as well. When you complete your home and when you contact 10 people. And then if you refer friends, you can get points as well. So of course, I'm gonna put my referral point in because you also will get additional points when you sign up using my link. So you can see here, I have 13,000 points and this is after I've booked the exchanges I already talked about. So if I go into here, I can look at my exchanges and it shows all of the ones. I have one ongoing right now in Belize. I have a few more coming up, one that's coming up. Actually, it's funny, this person is leaving and this person is coming the same day into my condo in Belize. And then here's my trip to Puerto Vallarta. And if I go see more, you could see I have a one night in Houston. I have some other people coming uh, to my house and then the past exchanges. You could just keep going in and looking at all of them that way. 
And basically, there is an inbox here that you can see. So you can go into your inbox and view all your messages. So it'll show you all the different people you're messaging. Uh, either they're messaging you or uh, whoever else um, messages you. So that's how it works on the web. So when I talk to people about home exchange, a lot of people think it's very exciting. But there are some people that go, look, I don't even own a home that I can put in home exchange. I'm living at home with my parents still. Or I have kids that are always at home even when I travel. So there is another method if you like pets and house sitting that I want to talk about where you do not have to have a house yourself to be able to travel without paying for the accommodation. So here's an example of a trip I took last year. In August, I went and spent a week in Seattle and the only thing I had to pay for was my flight getting there and the food. And what I did is I flew using travel points, so I only paid the taxes, and then I stayed in a fantastic home. It was in the Columbia City area of uh, Seattle, and it was, in, it was for free in exchange for taking care of a really cute little dog named Firkin. And I also had to water plants. So basically a house-sitting arrangement where I wasn't paid, but I got to change. I got to basically change where I was going. I hadn't really been to Seattle. I wanted to check it out, and I love pets, so I signed up for a company to do that as well. So this is great if you don't have your own home that you want to put on home exchange, you can instead do this. So I'm going to show you the company that I'm using for this as well. So if you're interested in Trusted House Sitter, sign up using my link because it'll save you 25% off the annual membership. And there is also a option to get sit cancellation insurance, which is included if you buy a premium membership. So that includes accident and third-party liability protection and some other benefits. So make sure you scan the QR code to get into my referral links for either of these. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe.